clips that we were showing, Christine, on the right-hand side of the screen showed upended cars, businesses swamped, entire roadways completely engulfed. With us now is a company called Planalytics. The CEO, Fred Fox, is here in a Fox Business exclusive. And what you, in essence, do, sir, is you, you put together for businesses, both large and small, a battle plan well before an event like this, correct? Tell us how you do what you do. Uh, sure, Reliz. So what we do with, you know, with all of our clients is we get them ready for the storms by making sure that we can anticipate where and when their stores and their sales are going to be hit in that cone of uncertainty that's put out by the National uh, Center. Okay, so then you you get a client such as, and I understand you help everyone from Dunkin' Donuts to Ace Hardware to, to Subway, What's your process then for chains like that down to small businesses if they come to you and say, OK, put something together for what may happen? Well, it really depends if they're selling need-based products versus products that are not need-based. And the difference is that if you're a home center, if you're a mass merchant, a gas station, uh, any of these types of uh, stores, people need to be buying both before the storm and after the storm. So their sales are actually probably going to increase right. over time as a result of these storms. If you're a restaurant chain, especially casual, if you're selling clothing, you're probably not going to be selling much before and after the storm. So it's really preparing these types of businesses differently, either to get ready and sell more around these storms which is a logistics thing, or to really to shut down and mm -hmm. save on labor costs. Uh, I'm looking at, at video of DirecTV dishes that are submerged. I'm, I'm sure they're, yeah, they've got to get up and running once again for many of their customers. But uh, mm -hmm. there, there's the so-called Waffle House indicator. And anybody who knows in Hurricane Alley how many Waffle Houses there really are, they have a battle plan constantly in place where they have a menu. In fact, our own um, field producer, Dan Hilsden, shot it for us. He's down there, and they've got a limited menu that they immediately put out uh, versus their entire menu because they know you have hungry people who can't, can't get their stoves working. Uh, and as soon as they get their full menu back, that's sort of the indicator. When do you assess that things will look certainly better in North Carolina? Well, you know, uh, we, we, we don't know, just like anyone else, exactly when these uh, stores and these shops are going to be able to reopen, just like we don't know exact, exactly when people are going to be able to return. But what, but what we can help is to make sure that the logistics are set up. So a lot of these retailers today have trucks waiting outside of the area, waiting, loaded, to rush goods in and to get these stores yeah. up and running and to have both the food and, and, all, and all the types of services that, the, that everyone is going to need. Have a nimble supply chain. I like that word, nimble yes. and, and ready. Uh, good work you're doing at Planalytics. Thank you, Frederick.